All right, let's bring in back uh, Hassan Unal, uh, who has been with us for the past uh, hour. Um, we're coming to, we're slowly coming to the end of what's been a long day. Uh, 80 million people have sort of uh, commemorated this day, looked back to the day of democracy and national unity. Um, I know that we've been talking sort of foreign policy and international relations, but we'll, I want to ask you sort of as a Turk, what do you walk away from after, after today? Well, um, as you pointed out several times in your presentation, as I followed you uh, and I, as I watched you, basically uh, one uh, point uh, we've been making is that you learn from your mistakes. And Turkey and the current administration have drawn lessons from their earlier mistakes in the sense that you don't let uh, these sort of groups with clear hierarchy, with disciples following orders from the top, from orders for, uh, top down, into the state structure like that. Um, so on that basis, I could say that uh, Turkey, Turkey has learned quite a bit. It has drawn its lessons, and it's been acting upon that. Um, perhaps more could have been done in terms of reducing the polarization. Uh, why I touch upon polarization? Because once uh, you have a polarized society, uh, you may not be able to basically exert uh, your foreign policy agenda as strongly as you may otherwise do. So uh, if you have a single united nation behind you, for instance, when it comes to foreign policy issues, I'm not talking about, of course, a one-party system when I say single united nation. Of course, there, there's going to be multi-party politics. Of course, there's going to be divergences and differences of opinions about, uh, uh, among the political parties as to various issues. And sometimes even as to foreign policy issues too. But when it comes to national issues, then you need a single United Nation behind you so you can actually uh, play out uh, what you want to do in terms of uh, making efforts to protect your uh, rights and interests like we've been doing uh, in the Eastern Mediterranean over the last few months. Okay. So in terms of reducing the polarization, more could have been done. But Putting that aside, Turkey has learned quite a bit from its early, earlier mistakes and it has drawn its lessons and it's been acting upon that. 